All right, this is my third try. We can do this. Okay, I'm here to share with you my another micro mini that I've made. Um, this one is a little different in that I've made so many that I I totally forgot one step, skipped it, and didn't realize it until it was too late. So here's the, here's the thing. Um, I make these out of cardboard, a cardboard box, and then I strengthen the spine with a piece of chipboard. That, as you can see, is what I forgot, the chipboard. So it's not as strong as it usually is. So far, it seems to be holding up well, though. So that being said, I'm not really sure how it will hold up. So I am offering it for sale on my Facebook page. But instead of $10 plus shipping, which is what I usually do, I am offering it $7 free shipping. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Um, like all my others, it's three signatures, and it's cute, and it's little, and it's a hair tie closure. And I've left space here that you can title it however you will. Okay. Here we go. We have a Tsunami Rose ticket, which I'm using as a tuck spot for these two journal cards. Vintage book page. Here I've made a tag page. I learned how to make these from a Facebook page called Izzy B Craft Creations. She does these, go to her YouTube, it is very easy to do. It's a tag on one page part, and then I'll show you what's on the other part of this tag. It has a little tag tucked into the tag that's stamped on the back. And it's a tuck spot here. I've got a bunch of these that I got from Soaring Prodigy. Thank you, Soaring. Here is a piece that I got from Sonia over in Serbia when we did a swap. It's a pocket with a butterfly punch and a tag that I made. It's book page and napkin, decoupage and watercolor paper. My new tabs, aren't they cute? And this is the center of the first signature. Another pocket and another tag with book page and napkin on watercolor paper. I've stamped here and there throughout. Another tuck spot with Tsunami Rose Ephemera and I've stamped on it. Now this is the second half or the other half of that tag page. It's got just this little piece here. And how she did it on Izzy B Craft is she put an envelope. So I've done the same thing but just a smaller version and inside the envelope we've got a couple pages of note paper to journal on and then it goes back in there line paper vintage book page a little piece of ephemera and some stamping another ticket from Tsunami Rose and a tag that I've made with a punch from a vintage map book. And that's the first signature. Second signature, it's got a paper clip holding closed, this flip out, and a tag that I put in the back. Our vintage book page. Now I really should learn how to turn pages. There you go. There's another tag page. This one's just smaller, a little skinnier, with a cute little teeny tag in it. A tuck spot with a butterfly tag. More stamping, center of the second, so another tap. Another tuck spot for this tag. 
here is the little piece from that second tag. And this is from Soaring. It's a mini altered, altered trading card. More stamping. More book page. I've tried to keep most of the pages a uniform size this time, instead of my usual random bits and pieces. Another paper clip for this flip out. And puck spot. This open face tag. Thank you, Herman Linda. They're wonderful. Okay, the third signature. Got another ticket. And another journal card that I've made. Here's a flip out. With cute little butterfly punch. And paper to write on. And another tsunami rose ephemera that I've stamped on. Here's more Tsunami Rose Ephemera with just a piece of washi tape down the middle. Had an extra piece of file folder, so I stamped my hummingbird on it, and you can journal on it. Here's the third tag page. Cute little tag. center of the third, and the final tab. There's another tuck spot for this tag that I made. I like the way that one turned out. A pretty floral stamp. And here's the little piece from the tag. And I glued on this envelope, which has some journal paper in it. Stamping, line paper, tea dyed paper. Here we have another contribution from Soaring Prodigy. I've just paper clipped it onto a tag. This altered trading card with some cute little buttons on it, some embossed paper, and then there's the tag that you can journal on. Another butterfly flip up. This one was punched from a 1940s notebook. Here's a Tsunami Rose ticket again and a journal card that I've made and stamped on the back. It's right under there. Oh my goodness. Come on, one more page, you can do it. And that's the end. There. That is my latest micro mini. So as I said before, it's not as... Um, since I forgot one of the parts, I'm... yeah, $7. Free shipping, it's yours. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.